I failed. I tried to paint a picture and it was originally going to be of an eagle, an American eagle, an eagle with the colours of the American flag being impaled by uh, Uncle Sam whilst it's babies watch and it, it was going to be like a symbolism for how I feel as though I mean I'm British but how I feel as though the people running the country in charge of the country are just a bunch of ignorant fools basically so I, I did this pic I did the picture and as you can see in the center it started off as a wing it was in the wrong place anyway like there it started off as a wing and I was going to like expand it and you could see across that side where the wing would have been. However, that became the stomach of something much larger, which I then decided I was going to go with the flow because I was using different shades of black, blue, uh, red for it. And then I decided I'm just going to go with the flow. Because I messed up anyway. I, I put two big massive blobs of white that merged into the red and made it pink. I didn't want it pink. And what happened going on from there was that I I kind of just messed it up and it ended up all contorted because I decided I'm going to do a parrot instead. You see, then it, it became like a British patriotic parrot, as you can see, because it was going to have three feathers going along there. This is the second iteration of it. However, that also failed, because then I decided I want to add gold, and then I thought, well, can I make this look like it's a deep space painting? And I did it, assuming I could do a bird alongside all of this. And instead it ended up looking like, as you can see around here, a giant chicken. So I thought, well, what do I do with this giant chicken? I thought, well, I don't want that giant chicken now. I don't think that the pink is dynamic with the turquoise, as you can see here. So I thought, well, screw it. And I turned it into a face. As you can see, it's an XD face. Uh, XD is in like lol XD, and so it's got D for a mouth, X is for eyes, and then around here I initially wanted them to be ships, but then they turned into what it appears to be tropical fish. Um. <laughs> So that can be like an intergalactic space kitty hunting for tropical fish, which is quite strange. Yet I, I feel as though this abstract painting holds no sustenance. It's, it's just completely flawed. And... What I'm trying to say what this is metaphoric for, uh, not this painting, this painting doesn't mean jack shit, but what this is metaphoric for is that with anything that you try, you, you're going to start it and then you're going to find uh, that you make quite a few errors before you get right. And this is just one of the errors that I've made in order to get good at painting. In the long run, this painting will hold meaning because it would have been the first painting that, that I've attempted since I was like eight years old. I'm 19 now, so it's the first proper painting in 11 years that I've done. So of course, getting back into painting after 11 years, it's and of course it's going to be 
quite shit. So yeah, like when you start no fap, when you start no fap, you're gonna find on the first few streaks that that you just keep fucking up and fucking up and fucking up, and then you'll get somewhere. Ah, it's like finding your creative flow with this. It's like finding your creative flow. This isn't my creative flow, but I'm sure that future paintings will look much better than this, even if it's just not one of my talents painting. It, it's going to be way so much better. This is probably one of the shittiest paintings I will make. I might make shittier paintings. I might fall off. But you, you've got to constantly learn from those mistakes. You've got to learn from a bad piece of artwork. You've got to learn to critique it accurately. And, like, if this was going to be a kitten face, look at its ears. What is supposedly its ears is not entirely accurate. You see, it's misshapen. But, uh, I mean, I've never been a big fan of Picasso and Jackson Pollock and all the abstract art, but on the back of this, you have, um, I wrote down some what went wrong. So you can write down when your streak fails, because it will fail at some point, what went wrong. So... I wrote down the back of this because it's symbolic, it has meaning to it. Uh, it's in proper shape. I didn't know how to draw animals and humans, I was just working off my intuition here. And you can't really trust your own mind when, when you first start this. You, you have to look for some meaningful advice that suits you, which is up to the person, basically. Um, so I didn't know how to draw animals and humans. I didn't plan it. Uh, so I, I've also wrote what I can do next time. I can meditate beforehand to get rid of any sort of... Ooh, what if I do this differently? What if I do that differently? Uh, the problem started when I was like, oh, I like green. And then I thought, oh, it looks like a parrot. And then... Uh, I started adding an overlay, an overlay of, uh, overlay of gold. And I thought, oh, deep space battle. I can make this uh, purple and they're like space, space guppies, whatever. So, I can, I can have multiple paintings. Uh... So you have to have multiple habits, I suppose that's representative of. Like a, a, um, of course, by all means, zone on, on the one thing if you want to really get good at it. But if you're, if you're doing no fap, then you, it, it'd help if you're painting, if you're working out, if you read books. If you meditate, it'll help if you're doing a few other different things. Well, they say the more the merrier. Uh, plans for the next piece. And I said never combine silver and white because I looked up colour palettes and those two are just disastrous. I suppose you can never watch Kim Kardashian and do no fap. I suppose those two things don't go. But anyway, I failed. Yeah, I, I'm not really too bothered about it because I can always improve. There's always space to improve for as long as I'm alive, so... Yeah. Space Kitty.